In affairs of the heart, he's an irresistible force. And Doris Day. Well, did you get your roommate? Yes. She said to be sure and say hello to you. I'm afraid you'll have to pay the piper for your dinner. Yeah. Kathy, this is a very special place to me. I've never brought a girl here before. You're not sorry you came, are you? What are you doing? I'm kissing you. Do you mind? This is a forceful, dynamic man, accustomed to getting his own way. Kathy, I've got to go to Bermuda for a few days. How would you like to join me there? We can stay for a while and then go on to Paris. Have you ever been to Paris? No. Well, that's the best way to see it, for the first time. I know a restaurant in Paris where you can get some marvelous French food. Then we go to Monte Carlo, where perhaps I can induce a friend of mine to take us for a cruise around the Greek island. That's the only way to see the Greek island, slowly, by boat. They're like fine paintings. You mustn't rush up to them. Then we'll continue on around the world, and by the time we get back here, this building ought to be finished. So if you don't like this apartment, you can have your choice of all the others. May I ask one question? What? Did you just ask me to marry you? No. I'm a little frightened, aren't you? There's only one decision to make. You got a crooked lawyer, blackmail him. I was afraid of him. The minute he bolted that door, I got panicky. There you are. On behalf of the Manhattan Home for Young Women, we want to thank you for your generous donation and for permitting us to use your name in our fundraising drive. Well, it's a very worthy cause. Yes, there's a desperate need to provide an atmosphere of care and understanding during this critical period. Really? Mr. Shane, you'd be shocked to know that the rate of unwed mothers... Oh, Charlotte, we don't refer to them as unwed mothers. ...that the rate of unfortunate girls oh. has tripled during the past five years. It's a deplorable situation. Yes, yes. My dear, when the time comes, call this number. Psst, Mr. Timberlake. No wonder he donated so generously. Guilt feelings. Now, Evelyn, we must be realistic. When a man donates $200,000, he's entitled to use the facilities. Timberlake, back again for a little of the taxpayer's money, hmm? 